Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Captain Sparkle subreddit. But Jordan, you said that all future reaction videos were gonna go on the Jordan Reacts channel. Link in the description. Subscribe if you have not. Well, as I've said before, this is the Captain Sparkle subreddit. It has this channel's name as the name of the subreddit, so it kind of only makes sense that it stays on this channel as it continues to do. We begin with the real number 19, Jordet. God, cursed image. Things that I wish I could forget. I was talking in another Reddit video that I don't think will be up now, will be up later in the week on the reaction channel, how there are things that actors sometimes do earlier in their careers that they'll look back on and they'll be like, I hope nobody sees that. In this case, the video is still live, but this particular frame, I hope nobody sees this as you're seeing it on the screen right this second and Nick is probably like enlarging it and zooming in on it closer and closer until it's just pixels that you can't actually distinguish, so it's fine at that point. Jardon looking fly in that top pick. Excuse me, but what are you trying to say here? Are you trying to say that my high school freshman school photo merits that response? Okay? I'll have you know that is one of my finer picks in life. We got the braces there, really complimenting the look of the teeth. And then I definitely like wore a hat for a long time before the photo, just so the hair would be all mopped over and then curved up at the edges. For some reason, I actually did think that that was a decent way to wear long hair, rather than just being like, you know, let's just get rid of this thing, which I finally did by the end of that year. I thought that it looked cool to have long hair with the flip ups at, at the edge. It's not one of my finer points in life. Be more like John. I see a recurring format here with this be more like and John, I think, has been used several times. This is John. He doesn't want My Night Season 3 or 4. John wants Beam Energy Drive. One upvote equals one more John. You just took it in a totally different direction there. You were wanting Beam Energy Drive, but now you're asking for more, just more of these memes? And more that, I don't understand the last two lines. Okay, Beam Energy Drive. Here's the thing. I just like, I don't know necessarily where to go go from what I've already done. I could do more maps, but the idea is just to crash things or crash cars, but there aren't that many other things that I haven't done before. Maybe I'll make a return to it at some point, but I want it to be a different enough video, unless maybe it's just been long enough that I can kind of do the same sort of stuff that I usually do and just playing the game and it'll be okay. I'm not sure. We'll figure out. I just got to find a new car that I can crash because it has to be crashing my new blank. That's how BeamNG Drive videos work. And then everyone's like, oh, we actually thought you crashed your new Lamborghini, dude. And I'm like, no, nah. Just got you click on the video though. Petition to change downvotes to ugly portals and upvotes to more aesthetically pleasing ones. Yeah, uh, okay. Well, I completely support the concept here that port, well, actually that's an impossible portal on the left. Um, I'm not sure how you managed to keep that one lit, I think you've modded your Minecraft or something's going on on the left. It doesn't work. But portals where the corners are replaced with other blocks are, of course, undisputedly the better portals. So I agree with this, but I don't think it makes enough sense. And I'm still waiting for the upvotes and downvotes to be the faces. Nick and my faces. And I don't know why that hasn't happened yet. Mods. I'm making a personal request. Don't make it like Wikipedia where I have to submit an image to an email address in order to release copyrights and stuff, which I actually ended up doing. I think that the, my Twitter avatar, I never got a response from the Wikipedia people, but I finally followed the instructions to release copyright or do the Creative Commons thing so that it could be used as an image on my Wikipedia. And I don't know if it's been accepted yet. It might just be destiny that it, my thing is never gonna, my picture's never gonna be on my Wikipedia page. It's never never gonna happen. But I saw people who tweeted like the responses from Wikipedia mods and stuff who are like, yes, we've gotten this a million times. A million people tried to submit this photo. He needs to release the copyright on it. And then I did it. And now I don't know if anything's happened with it. So I don't know. I don't know anymore. If I lost hope, maybe. I think I hit a wrong key. Yeah, whatever. We all got got. Whenever I work out, I see this on the side of the treadmill. Seems familiar. Can we copy strike Platinum Club Series? I think they stole my avatar. I haven't seen that particular type of equipment before. Apparently they don't use it at the gym that I go to. I hope it's 
a piece of quality equipment. I hope that anything with a C and S on it represents the C and S in a very high quality fashion. High quality. I hope it's only the best in quality. Just studying physics. One last issue before leaving this topic. Suppose the elevator cable breaks and the elevator along with the man at his scale plunges straight down in free fall. What will the scale read? Acceleration in free fall is a y equals negative g. When this acceleration is used in equation 5.9, we find that w app equals zero. In other words, the man has no sensation of weight. Well, yeah, isn't that obvious? Also, I hope that I never experienced this situation, but yeah, naturally, if you're just falling, it doesn't matter if you're falling in an elevator or you're just falling in the sky, you're gonna, you're gonna feel weightless because you're falling, but sure. Is this just to kind of let you know that, hey, Everything falls at the same rate in a vacuum at the very least. Cool. That's that old like what did they what did they do on the moon? The bowling ball feather thing where it, like they both fall at the same rate because no air resistance. Pretty pretty nifty. I hope that I never have to do this calculation personally firsthand though. I'd prefer not. My Twitter feed is a collection of ideas from the greatest of all minds. Since the universe has no center, you can't be it. Wait, oh, you can't be the center of the universe. Gotcha. It was kind of a sciencey twist on calling someone out on being selfish. I get it. But yeah, dude, the more pressing matter of the two is how do you not eat a full pint of ice cream immediately once opened? And I have actually developed a solution to this problem. I put it to use last night and this morning because I can't not wake up and not finish the ice cream that is in the pint container in my freezer. And that's impossible to do. So that's the better question. How do you wake up and not finish the ice cream? But here is the solution. Here it is. And this might come in handy for you, so listen carefully. You see, you buy the pint of ice cream right as you're craving it. Then you go home, but you see it's taken you about 10 to 15 minutes to get home from the grocery store. And in that time, the ice cream has been sitting unrefrigerated in the bag in your car. You get home, you think, all right, it's time to devour this pint of ice cream, but you get about halfway through and all of a sudden it's pretty darn mushy. And you're like, oh, this is a little bit too melty at this point. Well, I really wanna eat the whole thing, but I can't. So you stick it back in the freezer, but by that time it's quite late at night. You know it's gonna take another hour or so before it gets back into tip top shape, but you have to go to bed. So that prevents you from eating the full pint of ice cream all at once. Nobel Science Prize right here, ladies and gentlemen, Neil deGrasse Tyson analyze the science behind the melting speed of ice cream and I believe that you will find that what I've just suggested is a valid hypothesis solution procedure. I fixed it, now it's more realistic. You see, I just got a haircut actually, and the last week, so I've kind of, I've invalidated this. Although I did take the photo with the webcam that I used to make this outline uh, before I got the haircut. So it is kind of valid, I like it. You did a good job on that. If anyone is curious, a little, Preview. Yes, as I mentioned on Instagram, in case you're curious what this is and you've never seen it before, it will be a channel that is new. More will be discussed in a video tomorrow. Feel free to look forward to that. But in the meantime, yes, feel free to tell me that I have too many channels and I have an addiction. All things that I said in the video that will go up tomorrow, but be on the lookout. The, maybe I should add the duck in to the to the top of the actual thing. But then we get cut off because the cropping is really, it's really good right now. It's really perfect on both the avatar and the channel banner. So if I add that, the duck will be cut off and then it'd be a bummer. Netflix adaptation, manga, anime, Netflix adaptation. So what you're saying is the ne Netflix adaptation is live action. I haven't watched the, the Death Note Netflix thing. It kind of struck me as like, I don't know if I want to see Ryuk in live action. It's kind of what was holding me off. I had thoughts. How would you do Ryuk in live action without me just being horrified? I don't know, and yep. And then, and then I was like, I don't, do I want it? Death Note is such a good, good anime. I haven't done the manga, but the anime, oh my God, dude. Like I was just, my brain was all over the place. I don't know how to, it's, it's, it's like too smart for me. It's good. It's a real good show and I recommend you watch it if you haven't, but live action, just, I was like, I don't know how you're gonna do that and it not be weird, so. But anyway, I, I, get where you're, I get where you're going with this. It's clever. Please, Jardon. 
New Minecraft series, weak. New pass would bring back Beam NG. With 458 upvotes, what a coincidence. Crashing my new 458. Have I ever driven a 458 in Beam NG? I don't know if someone ever made that model. The thing is, all the like high quality Beam NG car models, they're not really made after real cars. And then it's the ones that like kind of have the weird, not so high quality collision effects that are like, those are the ones that are made after the, the cars that you can clickbait and make the video title sound more interesting. But I don't know if they did 458. I can't remember. I just, yeah, I crashed with my new Ford GT, which was a premonition. Crash with my new Lamborghini, F1 car, helicopter. Can't remember the others, but also never give your password if someone asks for it. I found a young version of Jardon in my economics book. This is one of those moments where someone says, oh, this person looks like you, and then I don't see it at all. He's got a better jawline than I do, so good on him for that. I also wonder for this stock photo, how long or how many scoops of ice cream did you have to do, or is it actually like plastic so that it doesn't drip on you? Because you must have had to do a lot of takes of this. You don't want the ice cream dripping on your finger. That's also going to ruin the shot unless you edit that out in post, and that's a whole headache to do. So it's like... Maybe it's just a fake ice cream cone. Maybe the stock image photography company, they just have a bunch of fake ice cream cone props that they can bring to a shoot. And they just set up in a random window with a fluorescent office light bulb and get their shots. Doesn't look like me. It really doesn't look like me. I don't see it. Repost because Jordan forking skipped a week. Petition for Jordan to start a PO box. I don't have a PO box because here's the problem. I would probably not end up checking it very often. Things would pile up. The post office would call me. They'd say, Jordan, you have a billion things here. You need to come pick it up. Then I would be like, oh, this is an item that I can't actually fit in my car. What am I going to do about this? I'm going to have to rent a car in order to get this back to my house. I'd open it up and be like, I don't know if I can keep this. And then I'd be like, okay, well, uh, I don't. I feel badly about throwing it in the trash, though, and things are going to like pile up and stuff. And maybe nobody loves me enough at all to send me stuff, in which case I would also learn that I, I, I by not opening a P.O. box, I never have to experience the, oh, nobody's actually sending me anything. I guess nobody cares for me at all. So there, it seems like the benefits of not opening a P.O. box outweigh the benefits of opening one. Sorry, if you have genuine heartfelt intentions that you'd like to share through a P.O. box, I appreciate the kindness, but I'm probably not gonna do it. Ja, is that what I smashed on my keyboard last weekend? Dying montage. Good, great, good, good. Thank you, Gina Stater. You get all the all the ones that you've done. Nice, good. Okay, oh, that's Minecraft. At least it's okay if it's Minecraft. That's not okay though. Why is this all of the things that you have done, and then it loops later in life? Will you look back on this moment and say, "Yes, I'm happy that I animated him dying a whole bunch." Maybe you will be. Maybe you will. I don't know what goes on inside your head. Even the mountain wants you to like the video. Even the mountain wants you to like the video. What am I missing here? Oh, oh, it took, I knew it had something to do with the sand, but it took me a, a bit to get it. Oh my God, now I'm done. Okay, I see thumb up, fingers over here. This is the wrist, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, it's like if you take my cursor here and turn it sideways and then retract the index finger. I get it now, my God, that took way too long for me to realize. Yeah, everybody, if you could like this video right this second, I'd really like that. And then go to the uh, Hardcore Revival series, like that video as well. I think it's good quality content, especially with going to the end and stuff, which you could you watch and do all that stuff, quality, quality content that you should like all of the videos, like them all. We need to get help for Jor. Jordan pulled out the weed. <laughs> oh boy. Did you edit this yourself so it said Jordan or did this coincidentally just say Jordan on it? Or did you actually go in? Is this, what game is this? It's not, it looks, it kind of looks like Pokemon but I'm assuming it's not Pokemon. Someone's gonna be really mad for me saying that. Um, phrasing game. For raising, you realize what you just said? It's a bad influence on the kiddos. You can't be doing that. Jeez, rate this game M for mature. Petition for Jardon to wear a white shirt in a video. That's a, it's a tall order, but actually, it's funny you speak of white shirts 
because uh, the the music video, like, so I, yesterday's video, the Whisper Challenge, which was, you know, I then directed to a, a, a music video that I was in with Whitney, who's in that video. I am in a white shirt there. And the white shirt happens to be open most of the time. Button down shirt. Um, but it is white, nonetheless, so you can always watch that if that is what you're craving. But in this, in these videos, probably not. I would look, I would blend into the wall, so I just look like a floating head. It'd be like a, a natural green screen. And then also, I don't know what it is about white. Maybe it's just I'm so used to seeing myself in black clothing that I'm, it, it just looks weird to be anything else. But also, I feel like when I wear white, it just makes me look bigger. And I already feel like I probably look too big to most people. So that's, yeah, that's a thing. Um, all right, smash your face on your keyboard. Here we go, let's see what we got. Oh, you got that, you got that fancy WASD highlighted in red in case you forget where it. <laughs> I respect how much effort an inconvenient that probably was to do. Clearing out all your keys, spelling it out. You didn't lose any, I hope. I feel like that's exactly what would happen if I pulled off all the keys on my keyboard. I'd just lose one of them and then i have a blank spot and it'd be really unfortunate. I do like the effect though, that we have the we have the red in there. It was very good. Think about it. My Night Season 3, nah. A My Night reboot with the willing veterans and some newbies, but, but it, so basically what you're saying is a Mayanite reboot with me. Cause I don't like, I don't think anyone else is interested in doing it. So, yep. It'd be like the the prequel, the origins of Ionite. Oh God, I shouldn't have said that because now people are gonna be, yeah, 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 do that. But it's just me. That's why people enjoy, don't. Remember last week, don't be upset because it's not coming back. Be happy that it happened. Totally, totally screwed up that quote, but you, Get what I mean, and if you don't get it, you can watch last week's video and like that one like the mountain told you to do so. Otherwise, the mountain will probably crush your skull and you don't want a mad mountain. That'd be bad. Anyway, um, that's that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like if you liked. Again, check out the playlist if you want to catch more of these videos. Subscribe if you're not already, and if you want to get more of these reaction videos, Jordan Reacts channel is always linked in the description. All right, I'll see you next time.